Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a text path in LiveType using the swirling south effect. So let's fire up LiveType and go and choose one of the plain fonts. Apple Gothic is a good one. Apply it to a new track and type your phrase in the inspector. That text is a bit large, so under the text tab, let's reduce the size to about 50 points and also make sure that the text is left aligned by clicking the left align tab. And it should look like that. Now let's go and find Swirling South. It's under Effects in the Motion Path category near the bottom. We apply the Swirling South effect to our phrase and let's see the result. All that happens is that it slides right while shrinking. The text path needs to be edited to create the swirling effect. I'll show you how to do that right now. Under the text you can see a blue line and this is the path that needs to be edited. Right click somewhere on the right hand side of the phrase and add a control point. Right click again on the control point and make it curve out and you'll see a Bezier handle appear. Add another control point. I'm running out of space so I'll just extend the last point. So you see it's just a process of adding points, manipulating the Bezier handles and extending the last point. This gives us the curved shape. I'll just make it a bit deeper by adding another point and dragging it down. And there is a lovely curve. If we now play the timeline, we'll see the swirling south effect. And of course we can also see it in render preview. And that's all there is to it.